Everyone knows Batman, the iconic Dark Knight and world's greatest detective, but also the man behind the mask is the billionaire orphan Bruce Wayne. While his adventures in both Gotham City and across the world have been recognized throughout his life, there are also other characters in the DC Universe who have also put on the cape and cowl to either protect his identity or protect Gotham City. I'm Rainash30 and today I'm counting down the 10 characters who became Batman besides Bruce Wayne. Number 10. Plastic Man Starting with the former criminal who fell into a vat of chemicals and was transformed and rehabilitated into becoming a superhero, there was an episode in Batman the Brave and the Bold where he donned the cowl as Bruce was temporarily out of commission. After reading about his injuries in Aquaman's new novel, the one where Batman almost died, Plastic Man decides to become Batman to protect Gotham. As he has the ability to transform into anyone or anything, he alternates and switches through Batman's various outfits through the decades, but for some reason chooses his own outfit where he isn't wearing any pants and has goggles for eyes. While finding Catwoman in her latest plot to free tigers, he gets distracted by her glamorous charms and almost forgets his role, but he regains his focus and is able to stop her. Number 9. Shazam Onto the superhero with the power and abilities of the Greek gods Solomon, Hercules, Atlas, Zeus, Achilles, and Mercury, he has always been known to be the protector of Fawcett City and is seen with bright red and yellow colors. So in what scenario would he ever don the cape and cowl? Well, returning once again to the same episode from Batman the Brave and the Bold, Batman is indisposed and Gotham is left unprotected. As Shazam also decides to become Batman, he also dons his own version of the Batsuit, where we see his own style cape and a sash instead of a utility belt. When it came to fighting large supervillains like Solomon Grundy and Killer Croc, he was able to knock them out with one punch, leaving the other villains in shock. But as they get the upper hand on him, he questions how Batman does this alone, though ends up defeating all of them. Number 8. Aquaman now the king of the sea who was known as the ruler of Atlantis and his ability to communicate with creatures of the ocean, he has oddly worn a bat suit to become Batman. Though he doesn't have fighting skills, motivation and darkness like Bruce, he definitely tries his best to become him. Returning back to the same episode in Batman the Brave and the Bold, where Batman suffered an injury which forced him to heal and not fight crime, Aquaman is another hero who decided to don the cape and cowl to protect Gotham City. As he also wears his own version of the bat suit, as we see he still uses his own belt and decides to keep his yellow facial hair, he makes his entrance using his own grapple and battles the penguin and his henchmen. Struggling to catch up with Penguin's land submarine, he questions how Batman does this alone, but once again, we see later that he captured him. Number 7. Green Arrow Continuing with the world famous archer, vigilante, and superhero, we have seen many appearances of both he and the Dark Knight working side by side. Through many adventures together, Green Arrow has picked up on many things that define what Batman stands for. Now, for the very last time, returning back to the same episode where Batman has serious injuries, Green Arrow is the final hero who decides to become Batman and protect Gotham. As he tries his best impression of Batman to scare criminals, he lacks the level of intimidation and fails to throw a batarang. Resorting back to using arrows to take down many criminals from Batman the Brave and the Bulls rogues gallery, he also questions how Batman does this alone but emerges victorious in the end. As all Batman converge to stop the Joker, the Joker knocks them all out, resulting in the original Batman coming to the rescue and them realizing that there is only one true Batman. Number 6. Superman One of the most popular superheroes just like Batman of course, we know both Superman and Clark Kent to be iconic. While both Batman and Superman are opposites of each other, except for both being superheroes of course, it's difficult to believe that the Man of Steel could transition into the role of the Dark Knight. Well, other than not having the knowledge of various martial arts, among other things, Superman has often donned the cape and cowl on many occasions, seen twice swapping outfits with Batman to try and trick Lex Luthor. The most awesome time he became Batman is shown in a crossover episode with the new Batman Adventures. As Superman learns that Batman is missing in Gotham, he finds Robin handling the city alone during a crime spree and decides to become him to let the city know that Batman hasn't disappeared. 
Though he initially struggles pulling it off, with Robin's help, Superman is able to convince others of Batman's return and is able to intimidate criminals. They're hatching a plot to capitalize on your purported disappearance. <laughs> Where? Now he's getting it. Now while staying in the shadows and using his powers to his advantage, he uncovers that Brainiac is behind Bruce's sudden disappearance and puts a stop to his plot. So definitely honoring the title. Number 5. Thomas Wayne We all know the origin story of Batman, where after the Wayne family exited a movie theater, or soap opera in some cases, they walked along Crime Alley where Thomas and Martha were murdered in front of Bruce, giving him the fear, anger, and motivation to become Batman. Now for those who aren't familiar with the Flashpoint storyline, the Flash ran back in time to save his mom from being killed and inadvertently created an alternate timeline called Flashpoint. In this reality, instead of Thomas and Martha dying in Crime Alley, it was Bruce who died instead, which gave Thomas the motivation to become Batman. Funding his vigilante crusade through various casinos, which he also used to spy on criminals, we find a very different version of Batman. Other than the Batsuit being completely different, we learn that Thomas doesn't follow Bruce's code of not killing and uses dual handguns to eliminate criminals, very similar to Red Hood. Now, after learning from Barry that Bruce is alive in his timeline, Thomas helps Barry get his powers back, joins other heroes in preventing World War III, and helps defeat Zoom so the Flash can reset the timeline. So basically all in a day's work of being Batman. Number 4. The Joker The Clown Prince of Crime, known best for his antics to make everyone smile and becoming Batman's archenemy, but is maybe a character you didn't see coming. Sure he has played the hero a couple of times, but when has the most iconic and popular supervillain ever donned the cape and cowl? If you've seen and remember the animated series, The Batman, which in case you haven't I would recommend it, you may recall an episode where Batman was infected by the Joker. The episode begins with the Joker donning his own version of the cape and cowl and starting to fight crime, except rather than sending his criminals to jail, he infects them with Joker gas. When Batman confronts him, he reveals if he couldn't beat him, he would join him, and since Batman needs a Joker, he infects Bruce with the toxin which will slowly kill him from laughter. Though his intentions should be good, as he's dressed as Batman, the offenses he targets barely qualify as crime and his punishments are far from minor. While his transition into becoming Batman only happens in one episode, it's still cool to see the Joker in the role of the Dark Knight. I mean come on, he even has his own suit up sequence and a Batmobile. Number 3. Alfred Moving on to the butler, who we recognize as Bruce's most trusted ally, is one I would say holds Batman and the Bat family together. He heals Bruce's injuries, always keeps a bat suit ready for him, and is always in service when someone needs him. So in what scenario would he ever wear the cape and cowl to become Batman? Through various shows in the decades, we see that he dons the suit to protect Bruce's secret identity, whether being serious Ms. Gordon, I have see you've discovered our little secret. Yes, I admit it. I am Batman. It's all right, Alfred. Very good, sir. Or as a joke? Who are you? Batman. I don't think so. Just once I'd like someone to believe that. Or to come to the rescue as Bruce is indisposed. I'm not saying he can't handle himself, because he can. But rather than beating up criminals, his responsibilities fall under helping Bruce. In the Batman 1966 series, we find Alfred climbing a building and using the gadgets in the utility belt to rescue Robin and Bruce from the Joker. In the Batman series, when a reporter becomes suspicious when Bruce arrives just when Batman leaves, Alfred dons the suit to fool them. Finally, in the Batman the Brave and the Bold, when Lex Luthor discovers the Batcave, Alfred uses the gadgets to distract him and buy time for Bruce to suit up. In a nutshell, Alfred is always ready to become Batman and willing to do anything to protect Bruce. Number 2. Terry McGinnis Traveling to Gotham's future, otherwise known as Neo-Gotham, we meet the black and red Batman Beyond. Coming from a very loving family, those unfamiliar with Terry's origin might question why he would ever want to become the Dark Knight. Well, he disobeyed his father a lot, and when he was killed due to investigating an issue at Wayne Powers, like Bruce, he blamed himself for not doing more 
and had regret. After meeting Bruce and accidentally discovering the Batcave, Terry shows him the evidence of the issue, but loses it to the man responsible for his father's death, Derek Powers. Wanting vengeance like Bruce, and thinking that no one will do anything to stop Derek, he steals the Batsuit from the Batcave and goes after him, where we see new additions to the suit, like rocket boots and retractable wings. While Terry doesn't get the revenge he initially wanted, Bruce offers him a job and decides to train him to become his protege and Gotham's new protector. Like Batman, Terry gets new tools like a better Batmobile and faces off against the usual irregular supervillains such as Shriek and Blight. But as Bruce said when it came to fighting the Joker, You've made your father's killers pay for his murder. Then put your own needs aside to help the city when it most needed a hero. You've honored the reputation of Batman many times over, and for that, I thank you. Number 1. Dick Grayson Finishing off with Batman's partner, the original Robin and Boy Wonder, we know that he left the cave to make a name for himself and become Nightwing, the defender of Bloodhaven. While he originally looked up to Bruce and Batman, after being adopted and joining him on his crusade, the older he got, the more he realized that he never really knew him at all. How could I? Bruce Wayne is as much a mask as Batman, and I think the only thing behind those masks is pain. Sure there's that one episode in Batman the Brave and the Bold where Dick willingly took up the mantle when Bruce retired, but in every other scenario, he would normally decline because it would be less of a chance he might become like him. This is first seen in an episode in the new Batman Adventures, where after realizing that he doesn't approve of his tactics, and that being Batman's partner takes up a lot of his time, he quits as Robin and leaves. Now, if we take the film Batman Bad Blood as the final example, we see that after Bruce's disappearance, Dick is forced to put on the cowl, as he knows that if Batman doesn't return, chaos will break loose. While he's great as Batman in any show or film, he usually resents the idea of putting on the suit as he struggled for years to get out of Bruce's shadow. There's more to the Batman legacy than being Batman. I should know. And those are the 10 characters who became Batman besides Bruce Wayne. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to drop a like and subscribe, follow me on Instagram, and hit the bell notifications. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.